so in this lecture we will try to generate the pulse rate modulation that is an essential part of all the controlled converters especially when you are dealing with thyristors and SCA and uh, BJTs and IGBTs so for uh, generating a basic PWM which is just a comparison of uh, the, the the comparison of a triangular waveform with that of a DC waveform it will yield the train of pulses with a variable width so in order to simulate it we will not be using the sim power systems today instead we can we are going to use the this simulink default box so from the commonly used blocks I need some uh, some some blocks like integrator we will uh, be using this max also uh, I need to have a scope to check the waveforms again I need a constant block because I can I want to define uh, certain constants here so what we are going to do is this we will connect these two boxes this constant will be the frequency of the triangular waveform omega e here we will define it we need another constant block so I will con I will press this control button and will click on this omega e and then as I drag this thing down here you can see it has generated the copy of this thing so I need not to choose it again from the menu so from here at this constant value I will write 2 into pi and here the frequency I, ne I need to have a frequency of uh, of 200 hertz that is fixed the carrier frequency so after uh, pass after passing through this integrator it will be a, a ramp function with an ongoing with an infinite ongoing so let let me let us uh, first of all uh, change the axis of this scope i need to have uh, multiple axes axis so here we are we are selecting those these five axes so i am having these five axes and we'll make this scope a bit longer so that we can uh, easily connect these two things so here we are now you can see here this max will only uh, provide these two inputs in a single form but yet this is not enough to generate a triangular waveform for a triangular waveform we need to define some function mathematical function that will convert this signal this signal signal out the output of this marks into a triangular waveform so for that in simulink there is a user defined function block here you will click on this and in this menu there are around uh, seven files available here we will be using this fcn fcn is a user defined function so i will drag it here and will write a small function of the remainder function that will take the remainder of these two things now again one important thing is this whenever dealing with this uh, mux the, the top most input is considered as u1 and as you go down to this uh, it will become u2 u3 u4 and up to un so for in this function block when you double click on it we will write a function for these two input parameters so we will write the value for this remainder we will write the bracket u of 1 so it will take the value remainder of u of 1 comma u of 2 and here we are we will uh, okay this signal and let us see that whether we have we are having a, a nice uh, triangular waveform or not so here we are so you can see here we are having uh, a ramp here and up and, and and that ramp and this constant and we are having a uh, sort of a triangular waveform i mean maybe this triangular waveform looks nicer as we it is sort of as we the frequency let's see so here we are so we are having a kind of a triangular waveform a level here so the next task is to compare this triangular waveform with some uh, constant voltage to get the pwm output remember there are multiple ways of generating this pwm and and generating this triangular waveform so the all the ways there are more refined and refined methods also in the coming lectures we will discuss them also to get a very good uh, triangular waveform instead of having this uh, noisy waveform uh, with different uh, peaks at different intervals so from here at this function block i need to compare it with some constant 
so in order to compare it with some constant here we are you can see here there is a block known as a sum block it is also available this sum block is also available uh, in the form of square as you can see here if you double click on it you can change the icon shape also I like this rectangular so I will make a rectangular block here I will take I will uh, take the output of this function here and again I am in need of a constant block so that I can define some constant DC voltages here so let us suppose this value is 1 its value is 1 so these are just the addition of this triangular waveform and this constant but we need to have a good comparison for comparative analysis one must be negative sign so in order to change the sign just click on the list of sign double click on this uh, some block and here in the list of sign just remove one plus and add a negative sign here as you can see here this this there is a change in the sign here now if you if you simulate this thing right now it will not give you a pulse rate modulation rather it will do a simple multiplication simple comparison between the triangular waveform and this constant one so here we are you can see this is not the result we are having because it's just a comparison we need a pulse rate modulation circuit with a zero and one value so for uh, for that uh, purpose we need to have we use some sign block here so here it is there is a sign block available that give us only the values between 0 and 1 so we will have to hunt it out here alternatively you can search here sign you can see here we are this is a sign block so we can also so it's a particular uh, block using uh, using using this space so i will drag this here this sign block over here and i will connect it with the output of this sum block and the second one to through this go so that we can uh, check what are the two outputs so now when i will play this simulation you can see a series of uh, a train of uh, pulses here at the output with zero with minus one and one values look at this so if you want to increase the width of uh, if you want to decrease the width of these pulses you simply just has to uh, have to uh, increase the value of this constant so let us let us suppose if the constant has a value of 3 you can see the difference between the look at this with a value of 3 the pulse uh, width has varied it is now almost at a due to cycle of 50% you can also specify from this axis properties the minimum and the maximum value so let us suppose the minimum value is minus 1.1 and the maximum value is 1.1 so that the so that we can see uh, the actual waveform uh, which is uh, from minus 1 to 1 so in this way you can generate a lot of uh, different type of uh, pulse rates in actual circuits this constant is not actually a constant but it is coming from the feedback path and is uh, generated by the comparison of the reference voltage with some uh, the, with some you know obtainable voltage from the output usually sort of uh, a voltage divider circuit so this is the end of this lecture thank you